Good evening. Welcome to the Northampton City Council meeting of June 15th, 2017. And I'm City Council President Bill Dwight, and I'll be presiding tonight. And before we <coughs> convene, um, we open up the floor to the public for public comment. Um, the rules are please keep your comments and remarks under three minutes. Um, understand that when you're speaking, that the <coughs> councilors are not allowed to speak under our rules, so you. Uh, your time and your opportunity to say what you want to say, and then you get to, if you want, you can stick around here and talk plenty afterwards. Um, when you come up, please state your name and address, and uh, you're free to speak on any topic of your choosing. It doesn't have to be anything pertaining to the agenda or things that even come under our purview. So, uh, with that, I have a very blank sign-up sheet. Does an, is anyone here want to speak? Sandy, you don't want to talk? No, okay. No, no. Wayne, no? Okay. <laughs> well then, I'm gonna ask the administrative assistant to call the roll then, please. Councilor Bidwell? Here. Councilor Carney? Present. Councilor Dwight? Here. Councilor Klein? Here. Councilor Labarge? Present. Councilor Nash? Here. Councilor O'Donnell? Here. Councilor Shera? Here. Here. Murphy? Councilor Murphy, uh, <laughs> I didn't tell you, I'm sorry. <laughs> we, have, we have a quorum, everyone, we're all in our places with bright, shiny faces, so we will convene. Um, first up on the agenda, we have uh, item 17.307, that's an announcement of a public hearing, and that's regarding a petition received from National Grid regarding the Sonic Street. In accordance with the provisions of section 22, chapter 136 of the general laws, the public hearing will be held at 212 Main Street, Northampton, Massachusetts at 7.05 p.m., that's right here in this room, on July 13, 2017, on a petition of National Grid to erect poles and wires upon, along, under, or across one or more public ways in the city of Northampton as described <coughs> in the petition. So there. Uh, one minute announcements, councilors. Anybody? I do. Council Labarge. Thank you. Um, I'd like to announce a community forum um, for preservation and enhancement efforts for Park Street Cemetery and West Farm Cemetery. The City of Northampton Department of Public Works has begun the process of preparing a long-term master plan for preserving and enhancing both Park Street Cemetery and West Farm Cemetery. As part of the process, the city would like to hear your thoughts, ideas, and preferences. Where, Florence Civic Center, 90 Park Street, Florence, when, June 27th, at seven o'clock to 8.30 p.m. And this event is sponsored by the Park Street and West Farms Cemetery Advisory Committee. And I think if you can recall, um, I think a resident from Ward 3 had come in and talked about the Bridge Street Cemetery, and we also had Ruth McGrath, and I had three other residents who did intensive research along with Wendy Foxman on West Farm Cemetery, so we're coming along on this. Uh, Councilor Dow. I just think we should recognize um, and congratulate uh, Councilor LaBarge for receiving the award that was already well publicized, but a reward uh, in recognition of her um, outstanding constituent service and dedication to Ward 6 in the city that was presented to her uh, by Representative Peter Kokot. Here, here. Any other announcements or congratulations or otherwise? Do you want to say something about the 24-hour theater project? No. <laughs> Did I say anything about it? You're welcome to. Oh, which is this Saturday at what time? It's 7 and 9 p.m. 7 and 9 p.m. And public should show it, up and part it. <laughs> participate. It's actually the, re the reason I wouldn't mention it is because it's actually a pay thing as opposed to, a, you know, the public can show up, but they don't get in unless they pay. So that's not... Usually we do announcements on that, and plus, it's it's personally mortifying. So thank you. Okay. <laughs> so, um, any other announcements? No. This meeting is going to go pretty quickly, actually. There are uh, no presentations, so we go right to the consent agenda, uh, which includes. Uh, the mayor. Oh, holy cats! I skipped over the mayor. The mayor, Your Honor, you have anything? 
great. Nothing. Nothing. Crickets. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, on the consent agenda, we have uh, to approve 17.305 uh, as various appointments to committees, uh, positive recommendation by the Committee on City Services for all the uh, following candidates. The Parks and Recreation Commission, we have James Ryan at 56 Leonard Street in Leeds. The term begins May 2017, expires June 2020, and this is replacing the expired term of Thomas Parent. Uh, and Michael Laga of 33 Moser Street in Northampton, uh, the term starting June 2017, expiring June 2020, and it's a reappointment. On the Conservation Commission, Kevin Lake of 35 Washington Avenue in Northampton, uh, the term to start March 2017, expiring June 2020, and this is a reappointment. Trust Fund Committee, David Herships of 22 Warburton Way in Northampton, terms start November 2016, expiring June 2019, also a reappointment. Also. Uh, approve 17.310 uh, appointments to committee with the, again with positive recommendation by the Committee on City Services for both candidates. On the Disability Commission, we have uh, Chris Palamas of 659 Park Hill Road in Florence. The term to start November 2016, expiring June 2019. That's a reappointment. And the Public Shade Tree Commission, Lily Lombard of 39 Monroe Street. In Northampton, uh, the term starting June 2017, expiring June 2020, also a reappointment. Also, item 17.345, this is to refer appointments to various committees on the, uh, to the Committee of, on City Services. Board of Health, Suzanne Smith of 134 State Street in Northampton, the term starting March 2017, expiring June 2020, which is also a reappointment. Uh, Board of Registrars, uh, Catherine Kay of 136 Main Street in Florence, the term to start June 2017, expiring April 2019, and that's replacing the unexpired term of Janet Larson. And Council on Aging, Catherine Service and Nine Butler Place in Northampton, the term to start April 2017, expiring June 2020, a reappointment. And then the housing partnership, uh, Edgardo Cancel of 19D Hampshire Heights in Northampton, the term to start June 2017, expiring June 2020, and this is a new appointment filling a vacancy. And Rebecca Lockwood at 46 Forest Glen Drive in Florence, the term to start June 2017, expiring June 2020, and to also a new appointment filling a vacancy. And then item 17.341, this is a petition for a secondhand dealer's license for sassy pants, vintage, and used clothing. Uh, to Con Street, Kathleen Molongoski, I hope I pronounced that right, is the petitioner. Also, item 17.342, this is a petition for a secondhand dealer's license for Antiques Corner on 5 Market Street. And this is Louis M. Farrick is the petitioner. And then also to approve the minutes of June 1st, 2017. Move to approve. Second. All those in favor of the consent agenda, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? Okay. Now we come to uh, vote to approve the executive session minutes of October 6, 2016 and February 16, 2017. We just had a, an executive session that where we discussed the fact that these minutes should now become available to the public now because it involved collective bargaining. All those contracts have been settled and it's now appropriate to l release those minutes to the public so that they can see them. We are charged with periodic review throughout the year to make sure that we do not keep minutes in secrecy for too long a time. And so that's where we just came from. And these two minutes were uh, uh, voted on to be released in this in this session. Move to uh, release. No, second it. Okay. A move to approve, I think. Thank you. We do, please. Mm -hmm. Yep. Motion's made second to approve those minutes. Any discussion on those minutes? Uh, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 This time, I'm sorry, you're right. It's supposed to be a roll call. So. Councilor Carney? Aye. Councilor Dwight? Yes. Councilor Klein? Yes. Councilor Labarge? Yes. Councilor Murphy? Yes. Councilor Nash? Yes. Councilor O'Donnell? Yes. Councilor Shera? Yes. Councilor Bidwell? Yes. All right. Those are released and approved. Um, also, uh, actually, I'd accept a motion to uh, approve the minutes of the meeting that we just had in the executive session, which uh, to they're in draft form, but. Um, so, 
that those wouldn't be posted on our agenda for tonight. And that's another so. good point. Plus, we haven't had a chance to see them. So, True. Right. and the public has a chance right. to see them. So that will be on our July meeting, yeah. on the agenda for the July meeting. Um, so now we go into uh, recess, and so that the Finance Committee can convene, uh, presided over by uh, Council Murphy. Thank you very much. And a very short finance meeting tonight. One, one item on the agenda. So uh, can we call our roll and finance, please? Councilor Murphy? Here. Councilor Labarge? Present. Councilor Nash? Here. Councilor Carney? Present. So the first thing we have, we have to, we have to approve our minutes from May 23rd and June 1st, 2017. Do we have a motion? To approve. Second. Right. Any discussion on the minutes? All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. And then the, the next is a, a financial order 17.344, an order to authorize the mayor to sign a five-year vendor contract with Valley Bike. Upon the recommendation of the mayor, order that whereas Northampton is a lead uh, municipality in the five community valley bike share program and whereas it is in the city's interest to be able to sign a three-year valley bike share contract with an option for an additional two years and whereas the city council approval is required for every contract over three years order that the mayor is authorized to sign a valley bike <coughs> vendor contract for up to five years on such terms as the mayor determines to be agreeable do we have a motion of finance make a motion second, second. all right and here's the mayor to talk about it. Good evening, Council. Uh, so you may recall that you earlier approved an intermunicipal agreement um, between uh, the city of Northampton, uh, the city of Springfield, the city of Holyoke, uh, and the towns of Amherst and South Hadley, uh, working with PVTA to um, to uh, implement a regional bike share program. Um, that now the the coalition, as it were, is ready to um, go out to do an RFP. Uh, this is for all of the equipment, the bikes, the, uh, the you know the the stations, the technology, etc. Um, and so this will allow us to be able to um, go out to bid on a on a longer term contract. Uh, and obviously, I need authorization to sign longer than a three year contract. So um, I don't have the details of the contract. I, again, we're preparing to put the thing out to an RFP. Um, but knowing that we'll need two readings on this uh, now and in July, uh, we want to get the RFP ready and have the authorization to be able to sign a longer contract. So that's the uh, reason for wanting to get this um, authorization. Any questions for the mayor on the bike contract? Councilor Nash. So uh, uh, I've heard from two people who are interested in seeing that the, the, uh, the bike stations have some sort of shelter um, because it, it, it so apparently, I, I didn't know this, but using a bike in, in the winter, it's easier if there's some sort of shelter to protect the bike and keep it from being wet. And also if there's some sort of cover to put gear on and take gear off. Mm -hmm. And um, if part of the, you know, the process of negotiating, you know, looking into yeah. this, if that could. My understanding is these bikes will probably not stay out in the winter time. <clears throat> That's not typically the model. Um, like if you've seen Hubway in Boston or other bike sharers, I, I don't believe we, <clears throat> the plan is to leave them out in the dead of winter. Um, because, uh, but, but I'll, I can check with, um, I can check with our folks on that and see. Uh, it tends to be just a station and you rent the bike and, um, you know, wipe the seat off if it's wet <laughs> and, uh, and, and away you ride. Um, we're trying to keep these structures somewhat minimal because they have to be on public uh, sidewalks or on easement space. Right. So we're not really, um, I don't believe we're envisioning building a shelter over it. I was just yeah. putting out there, yep. this nope. was, people were interested in this project and yep. this is. It's good feedback, but that's not typically the model we're looking for in terms of the build out. Um, and we've actually gone to, um, we've gone out to community uh, partners, um, including here in Northampton, Cooley Dickinson, Florence Bank, um, NETA, um, who've sponsored stations, and we've kind of spec'd what these stations will be. So, um, so, uh, so that's my response. Thank you. It sounds great. Albeit maybe not satisfactory, but uh, that's my response. <coughs> Other questions on the bike contract? Uh, hearing none, all in favor of a positive recommendation in finance, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Great. 
Um, then if there is no new business that any of you have, we'll take a motion to adjourn. Move to adjourn. Motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. All right, thank you. We come out of recess and go back into the regular meeting. And the we're doing a series of second readings on the budget, and that's what's up next. So item 17.325, this is in order to approve the FY 2018 general fund budget, and it's the second reading. Um, I'm gonna presume that everyone would prefer to have me waive reading. Is that the preference? Okay. Waive reading. Oh, you don't, it doesn't need to the be motion. Now, uh, as long as it's not at heads, we'll, we'll do, but yeah. Request waive reading. Okay, thank and you. And I'll move approval. Okay, so motions are made to approve, is there a second? Second. Any discussion, second reading on the budget? Uh, roll call please. Councilor Dwight? Yes. Councilor Klein? Yes. Councilor LaBarge? Yes. Councilor Murphy? Yes. Councilor Nash? Yes. Councilor O'Donnell? Yes. Councilor Sheriff? Yes. Councilor Bidwell? Yes. Councilor Carney? Yes. Okay, that passes in second reading. Uh, I, I, Feel it's kind of important to point out at this point that we didn't just blithely just blow through the budget and, <laughs> and vote it without so much ceremony. There were months of, of, of subcommittee reviews and budget hearings and open to the public. We did have some attendance at the public meeting, which um, we had about seven people come to see and talk, and, and someone even texted a question. That's a 700% improvement from the year previous. So. Baby steps, but um, but that I you know it's not we're, we're not having a dance in the end zone here, but the fact is that we're we're we bumped it up a little bit, and uh, the these were discussed and debated uh, in multiple meetings, as I said before. This is the second reading, so that's why we're just sort of going through that. So. Uh, item 17.326 is uh, orders to approve the FY 2018 Enterprise Fund, second reading. Second. Motions are made and second. Any discussion on this? Oh, Pam. Councilor Klein? Yes. Councilor LaBarge? Yes. Councilor Murphy? Yes. Councilor Nash? Yes. Councilor O'Donnell? Yes. Councilor Shera? Yes. Councilor Bidwell? Yes. Councilor Carney? Yes. <coughs> Councilor Dwight? Yes. All right, that passes in second. Um, now item 17.327 is in order to approve the FY 2018 revolving funds, also second reading. Move to approve. Second. Discussion? Pam, please. Councilor LaBarge? Yes. Councilor Murphy? Yes. Councilor Nash? Yes. Councilor O'Donnell? Yes. Councilor Sheriff? Yes. Councilor Bidwell? Yes. Councilor Carney? Yes. Councilor Dwight? Yes. Councilor Klein? Yes. Okay, that passes in second reading. Item 17.328, this is in order to approve free cash to capital stabilization, stabilization and physical stability fund. Second reading. Move approval. Second. Motions made, <coughs> seconded. Uh, discussion? Roll call, Pam. Councilor Murphy? Yes. Councilor Nash? Yes. Councilor O'Donnell? Yes. Councilor Shera? Yes. Councilor Bidwell? Yes. Councilor Carney? Yes. Councilor Dwight? Yes. Councilor Klein? Yes. Councilor Labar? Yes. All right, that passes in second reading as well. Item 17.329, this is in order to approve $29,925 from free cash and a gift of $10,000 from the Ray Ellibrook Memorial Fund for place structure at Arcanum Field, second reading. Move, Move to approve. Motion's made and seconded. Any discussion? Roll call please, Pam. Councilor Nash? Yes. Councilor O'Donnell? Yes. Councilor Scherer? Yes. Councilor Bidwell? Yes. Councilor Carney? Yes. Councilor Dwight? Yes. Councilor Klein? Yes. Councilor LaBarge? Yes. I mean, yes. <laughs> Councilor Murphy? <laughs> yes. All right. Present as well. All right. So that passes in second reading. Um, item 17.330. This is in order to appropriate free ca cash and approve use of gift funds to be used for the police fire. Uh, Police Department Firing Range Project, is that correct? Move to approve. Second. Any discussion? Councilor O'Donnell? Yes. Councilor Shera? Yes. Councilor Bidwell? Yes. Councilor Carney? Yes. Councilor Dwight? Yes. Councilor Klein? Yes. Councilor Labarge? Yes. 
Councilor Murphy? Yes. Councilor Nash? Yes. Okay. Passes in second reading. Item 17.332 is in order to approve purchase of eight acres plus or minus north of uh, Route 66 in Mineral Hill area for $200,000 and to approve borrowing for such purchase. Second. Motion's made and seconded. Any further discussion on this? Roll call, please, ma'am. Councilor Shera? Yes. Councilor Bidwell? Yes. Councilor Carney? Yes. Councilor Dwight? Yes. Councilor Klein? Yes. Councilor Labarge? Yes. Councilor Murphy? Yes. Councilor Nash? Yes. Councilor O'Donnell? Yes. Okay, that passes in second reading. Item 17.33. Three. There are three threes. I'm sorry. Uh, in order to approve appropriation of $600,000, for the purpose of improvement of public recreational facilities and to borrow $600,000 under Mass General Law Chapter 44B, subsection 11, Mass General Law Chapter 44, section 8C, and to contract for any federal, state, and, or other aid, including grants available for this project, and to authorize the mayor to, or his designee, seek such actions as are, as are necessary to carry out the terms, purposes, and conditions of this contract at second reading. Move to approve. Second. Discussion? Yeah. Um, and by the way, this is as amended. And you'll note the amendments yeah. on your agenda. Right, but you need to uh, approve the, 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 the amendments? Amendments, yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, before we move on, we're gonna need, the amendments are, uh, if you'll recall, this is, this, is a, this is requested by the state funding program. This is to add a third whereas that clarifies what parcels the bike paths are located on and that they're uh, dedicated to park <coughs> and recreation purposes. And the fifth whereas is change conservation to recreation mm -hmm. and ordered that sixth line add energy, uh, Executive Office of Environmental Affairs. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, Move to amend. Okay. Second. Uh, any discussion on the amendments? Have a chance to look at those. Two separate documents. There's a document attached online here that's in, you may you should have in your packet. <laughs> Council Bidwell. The question since I was I, I, I missed the, the discussion for reading. Were these uh, suggestions that were made on the floor or made by staff? At, at the last meeting, or have they come up between the last meeting and that? Between, between. Come up between. Yeah. This is this is this is from um, the state funding program uh, for qualification. So this is their amendments, their proposed amendments, the language that they want in order for us to qualify. Okay. Is everyone they're okay? Not, with? They're not in any way. They don't in any way change the functioning of the original matter. Right? They're just kind of preferences yeah. and. Conservation and recreation, though. So, yeah. <laughs> so. Everyone's okay with that? Okay. All those in favor of the amendments, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Now back to the second reading and the original motion, but now is amended. Yep. Uh, any further discussion on that? Okay. Roll call, please, Pam. Thank Counsel you. Councilor Bidwell? Yes. Councilor Carney? Yes. Councilor Dwight? Yes. Councilor Klein? Yes. Councilor Labarge? Yes. Councilor Murphy? Yes. Councilor Nash? Yes. Councilor O'Donnell? Yes. Councilor Shera? Yes. Okay. That passes in second reading as amended. Item 17.334, this is in order to authorize budgetary transfers in second reading. Move to approve. Second. Motion's made and seconded. Any discussion? Roll call, please. Councilor Carney? Yes. Councilor Dwight? Yes. Councilor Klein? Yes. Councilor Labarge? Yes. Councilor Murphy? Yes. Councilor Nash? Yes. Councilor O'Donnell? Yes. Councilor Shera? Yes. Councilor Bidwell? Yes. Okay, so on the next three, I'm actually going to move out item 17.337, but I would accept a motion on item 17.338 and 17.339 as a group. Second. Okay, and those are uh, an order for, this is the orders received from the Community Preservation Committee and the orders are the recommendations for funding. And it's the second reading and the first item that we will be discussing is item 17.338. That's an order for Hampshire uh, in affordable housing expansion, Valley CDC, and that's uh, $50,000. And then item 17.339 is an order for conservation fund the Northampton Conservation Commission uh, for the amount of 22685 
Are there... Need... To pull out 339? 339? I pulled 337. Oh, you pulled I already did that. Right. Okay, thank Way you. Way ahead of you. Sorry, I was... Sorry. I anticipate... I was, I was I, doing the roll in Okay, no, that's okay. I was anticipating your desire to have that. Thank you very much. Uh, so any discussion on these two items? Uh, roll call, please. Councillor Dwight? Yes. Councillor Klein? Yes. Councillor Labarge? Yes. Councillor Murphy? Yes. Councillor Nash? Yes. Councillor O'Donnell? Yes. Councillor Sheriff? Yes. Councillor Bidwell? Yes. Councillor Carney? Yes. Okay. Those pass in second reading. And then item 17.337, also uh, the Community Preservation Committee's order. Uh, for recommendation for funding. Uh, this is an order for invasive species removal for the Lathrop communities, $3,000. Is there a second? Second. Okay. Uh, discussion? Roll call, please. Councillor Klein? No. Councillor Labarge? Yes. Councillor Murphy? Yes. Councillor Nash? Yes. Councillor O'Donnell? Yes. Councillor Sheriff? Yes. Councillor Bidwell? Yes. Councillor Carney? Yes. Councillor Dwight? Yes. Okay, that passes in second reading as well. We missed one. I think we missed three things. Uh, Excuse me. Yep, I'm sorry, you're right. Thank you. Uh, item 17.335 is an order to reprogram $5,000 for Florence Fields Pavilion Roof, second reading. Move to approve. Second. Any further discussion on this? Roll call, please. Councillor Dwight? Yes. Councillor Klein? Yes. Councillor Labarge? Yes. Councillor Murphy? Yes. Councillor Nash? Yes. Councillor O'Donnell? Yes. Councillor Sheriff? Yes. Councillor Bidwell? Yes. Councillor Carney? Yes. All right, that passes in second reading. Now we're up to orders. Um, this is first reading. Item 17.344 is an order to authorize the mayor to sign a five year vendor contract with Valley Bike. Move to approve. Second. Motions made and second. Any further discussion on this item? Heard from the mayor and finance. Uh, Pam? Councilor Labarge? Yes. Councilor Murphy? Yes. Councilor Nash? Yes. Councilor O'Donnell? Yes. Councilor Sheriff? Yes. Councilor Bidwell? Yes. Councilor Carney? Yes. Councilor Dwight? Yes. Councilor Klein? Yes. All right, that passes in the first reading. We'll be having another reading on that at our meeting in July. Item 17.321, this is in order to approve the credit incentive policy for stormwater and flood control utility. Second reading. Move to approve. Second. Motion's made and seconded. Any further discussion on this? Councilor Bidwell. Uh, again, I'm not being here uh, for, for, for first reading. I did look at the, the, the very good minutes and I just wanted the, the, the mayor to know I was really impressed with the detailed presentation that I've heard from Director Lascalio on uh, on application of the, the credit and incentives policy and all the, the data in there. I found it very, very helpful to have that fairly extensive description of all the exceptions and credit had made. So my compliments to the director. It's worth noting actually in this context and in front of the beacon here is the stormwater permit goes into effect. Uh, EPA uh, MS4 permit uh, will regulate the stormwater in 250 municipalities in Massachusetts. And we were ahead of the ball on that, or the game, or whatever, whatever apt sports metaphor you want to apply to that. So, uh, um, so, you know, just as that discussion expands, there, there are those yeah. those pressures are now in existence. Any other discussion on this? Roll call, please, Pam. Councillor Murphy. Yes. Councillor Nash. Yes. Councillor O'Donnell. Yes. Councillor Sheriff. Yes. Councillor Bidwell. Yes. Councillor Carney. Yes. Councillor Dwight. Yes. Councillor Klein. Yes. Councillor Labarge. Yes. All right, that passes in uh, second reading. Uh, next item is item 17.340, and that's an order to acquire any fee easement and/or other <coughs> land located on Olander Drive for the purpose of creating Memorial Park. Move to approve. Second. Motion's made. Second. Any further discussion? Yeah. Councillor Nash? Yes. Councillor O'Donnell? Yes. Councillor Sheriff? Yes. Councillor Bidwell? Yes. Councillor Carney? Yes. Councillor Dwight? Yes. Councillor Klein? Yes. Councillor Labarge? Yes. Councillor Murphy? Yes. Okay, that passes in second reading. Now we come into ordinances. 
Item 17.288, and that's an ordinance relative to on-street parking meter zones. This will be the first reading. Comes with a positive recommendation from the Committee on Legislative Matters on June 12, 2017, and Transportation and Parking Commission. I'll accept a motion. Put it on the floor. A motion. Second. Uh, does the chair want to, of TPC want to? I would defer to the sponsor, actually. Okay. Sponsor, sure. Um, so this ordinance, I was researching uh, parking on Bedford Terrace, and I noticed that on Bedford Terrace, which is all long-term 10-hour parking spots, um, the Bedford Terrace, and also additionally a section of Strong Avenue, which is also long-term parking meters, um, that they were both classified as 3D, which is the long-term meters, but were not classified as 4A, which refers to the long-term parking permit you can get from the parking department. Um, monthly. Every other long-term red-topped 10-hour spot is designated uh, 3D and 4A except for these two exceptions. I checked with the parking department. They couldn't see a reason why that was. In practice, they've been treated as every other long-term spot. The permits have been recognized always. So this is merely uh, putting into our code what is done in practice and no reason for it not to be. Thank you. Cleaning up the books. Any other discussion on this? Questions? Okay. Um, Pam? Councilor O'Donnell? Yes. Councilor Shearer? Yes. Councilor Bidwell? Yes. Councilor Carney? Yes. Councilor Dwight? Yes. Councilor Klein? Yes. Councilor Labar? Yes. Councilor Murphy? Yes. Councilor Nash? Yes. All right, that passes in first reading. We'll have a second reading on that. Uh, mm -hmm in our first meeting in July. Next item up is uh, an ordinance to amend Chapter 312-110 uh, of the code book, um, and that is upon the recommendation of Mayor David J. Narkowitz. That's an ordinance to amend uh, the code book and the ordinance of the City of Northampton. Um, be it ordained that the, by the City Council, the City of Northampton in the Council assembled as follows, Section 1, that uh, subsection chapter 312 of the court <laughs> code of ordinances of the city of Northampton be amended so that such section shall read and this is uh, off street parking areas and to modify it Kirkland Avenue between Kirkland Avenue and Hamden Avenue the entire lot uh, previously it was two hours it was a class 1b uh, the proposal is three hours and turn it into a class 1f we need explanations on this because those of us who aren't up to speed on this Masonic Street easterly side of Masonic Street the entire lot uh, also the same classification changed uh, from two hours uh, class 1b to three hours class 1f and then Merrick Lane northwest side of Merrick Lane in front of the Hall of Records and that's eight parking spaces and <clears throat> that ch changes one from one hour class 1a to two hours class 1b uh, I'll accept the motion. Move approval. Second. Okay. Uh, Your Honor, you want to speak to this? Can I just say, it, it came out of legislative matters with uh, an amendment to the parking area to be Armory Street lot, I think. Was it? Was that what it was? Mm -hmm. Just to better describe it. Yeah, so, so oh, I see. It says Kirkland Avenue as right. the parking area, but it should be it's, Armory Yeah, it should Street be the Armory Street lot. lot. Okay, noted. So, um, when it comes to it, after we hear from the mayor, we can actually amend this on the floor. Your Honor. Yeah, and that's fine. I mean, it's one of those odd things that it, everyone calls it the Armory Street lot, but it's been listed in our code book for 20 something mm -hmm. years as the Kirkland Avenue lot. Um, I'm not sure why, probably because Kirkland Avenue is right, yes, right so there um, and Armory Street is right there. So for whatever reason, when they drew up the code book, they called it the Kirkland Avenue lot. So I'm, I don't have any objection to making it more, I don't think most people, if you said where's Kirkland Avenue, many people may not know where that is, so that's right. perfectly acceptable. Um, this is actually changes that um, are part of the parking reorganization and the parking equipment changes that we're gonna be making. Um, you know that we presented to you um, the changes to making Main Street two hours, uh, uh, and uh, the, this is to implement, once we move forward with the new parking kiosks, um, the expansion of the long-term lots from two hours to three hours. So we went from Main Street being one hour, and then the immediate lots as you ban out from Main Street were two hours. We're now going to main, two hours on Main Street and adding additional time 
um, in these lots, which was one of the recommendations of our consultant. The Merrick Lane one is actually one that we missed when we um, came through the first time to make some changes. Um, Merrick Lane uh, has some on-street lots, uh, and then it also has eight parking spaces that are served by a kiosk. And so when we did the initial ordinance, we put through the changes for Merrick Lane, um, but we didn't include these, um, these eight spaces that are regulated by one of our kiosks on Merrick, Merrick Lane. So that, that's just to bring it into compliance with the two hours that we have um, on, the, on Merrick Lane, as well as you know, Main Street. The, for my ignorance, the, the class code, I, those are all in the. Um, those are all. Um, those are all delineated in the, um, in the, code, in the book. code book, and um, and and actually, class one F is a new one that we created. Uh, we did create that code when we uh, that new classification because there wasn't a three hour uh, time limit for right. lots. So we you actually created that when we brought the ordinance through that had Main Street, but we didn't actually assign anything to it. So now because we weren't ready to implement the changes in those long term lots. So we chose 1F because, you know, A, B, C, and D, and E were already used. So uh, that's how we use 1F. So we're baptizing 1F. Very, very scientific process. Um, also down. Yeah. But basically, they're, they're synonyms. Class 1F is through our parking. And the only other information you would get if you looked up 1F is the rate. Exactly. Yeah. So it's like, okay. yeah. yeah. It's, not rel it's not attached to a fine designation or anything no. else beyond the, what's no, the. Fines the, rates, but. Yeah. 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 Just rates. Yeah. Okay. There's different rates in zone in the class one area depending on where you, you know one F, one A, one. Yeah, you know, we created it. Yeah, you know, different ones. Well, it's very exciting that we're, yeah. we're breaking in one F. That's. I expect to see that in the paper tomorrow. Okay. Um, any further discussion on this? May Council we, O'Donnell. May we amend <coughs> Kirkland Avenue to to read Armory Lot? I'll second that. Thank you. Okay. Uh, discussion on the amendment. We're rebaptizing the lot, although everyone's always known it as that. But oh, just uh, is it? I mean, I would imagine that any other place in the well, that's gonna that, that was something I was thinking we may have to do a cross referencing place that would yeah. require a lot may, of uh, changes. Yeah, we may need to come back to you with there. We may inevitably we'll find something somewhere that'll have a reference to it, but we'll see. Um, it might be in there somewhere else. Yeah, it's both. Both are in there. You know, okay. for example. The over the overnight parking section yeah. says Armory Lot. Got it. Maybe there's other sections that say Kirkland Avenue. Yeah, when it's talking about the snow emergency, the I think snow emergency to Armory because oh, yeah. that's the one we use. And so if you wanted to, yeah. yeah. And so if you wanted to wait and do a whole search and replace, that would certainly. I, fine I would say me. go yeah. ahead and do this, and yeah. we can we can. Oh, fine. Yeah, well, it'll give us an opportunity to revisit. But this it's a good point. Exciting yeah. meeting with it. Yeah, it's a good point. Yeah. 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 Okay. As Thank fun you. as an, we could do an omnibus Armory Street <laughs> Act. <laughs> well, I'm sure to get the paper here. For <coughs> that will hit it. Good for that. Okay. Uh, any further discussion? Uh, Pam, please. Can, we, can I have a vote on the motion? Oh, I'm sorry, for amendment. Yes, I'm sorry. All those in favor of the amendment, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Thank you. Now roll call, please. Uh, as amended, Councilor Shera? Yes. Councilor Bidwell? Yes. Councilor Carney? Yes. Councilor Dwight? Yes. Councilor Klein? Yes. Councilor Labarge? Yes. Councilor Murphy? Yes. Councilor Nash? Yes. Councilor O'Donnell? Yes. Uh, that passes in first reading. We'll be looking at that again in July. Um, well, I hate to say it, uh, we actually may finish between four quarter of eight. Um, <laughs> it's, I have no updates. There's no information request. Uh, anyone have new business? Well, then. All that's left. Move to adjourn. adjourn. Okay. Motion's made the second. All those in favor of adjourning, please say aye. 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 Thank you all very much, and uh, yeah. see you in July, not sooner.